conventional wisdom still has it that there were no African Americans on D-Day, even though there were some 2,000 men of colour on the beaches by the close of June 6, 1944. Most of these soldiers were assigned to labour and service battalions, for example, unloading ships under fire. Yet Alice Mills, a French scholar of African-American literature, found that the 320th Battalion, the first African-American unit in the segregated US Army to come ashore on D-Day, was recognised for their contribution in an address made by General Eisenhower himself. Recently discovered film seems to show a lone combat soldier with his firearm slung over his shoulder on a landing ship tank LST amongst his white comrades. In an unusually graphic reel of film, we can see GIs loaded onto a smaller landing craft personnel to make the final assault on the beaches. We get a long shot of the Armada assembled for D-Day before returning to the landing craft to pick out the African-American soldier. In the film, we can see fighting ashore, but this beach is likely to be Utah rather than an Omaha, and we see earth-moving equipment also unloaded. According to Mills, the 320th were a barrage balloon battalion, but the next section of the film is most revealing, showing a 10-man section of African-American soldiers in their own foxhole, without a barrage balloon in sight. The obvious conclusion is that these are regular infantrymen. The film goes on to show a captured enemy strongpoint and General Bradley. The dead bodies and glider planes featured in the film go to reinforce the idea that these African Americans are some of the first soldiers ashore. A surviving member of the 320th Battalion, William Dabney, and his son travelled to Normandy for the 65th anniversary of D-Day. The veteran shook hands with President Barack Obama and received the Légion d'Honneur from France. He said, I had to stand at attention and salute the flag for four national anthems. I felt like my arm was going to fall off because I was in my 80s, he admitted with a laugh. As it turns out, African-American soldiers were largely written out of the D-Day story. Movies do not show them and most books do not mention them. But as this film record shows, they were there in the early waves of the Allied landings.